What's up YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona. It is um, a little bit late for Crash of the Titans. It is officially Saturday the 15th of October. Um, however, um, the Crash of the Titans is from the 14th. Um, you can see I have an hour and a half left to get this done. Um, actually uh, had a late night out with a friend of mine. Um, so I'm just now getting to this. Um, if you're a first time viewer, thanks for your uh, click on that link, however you got to this video. If you're a regular subscriber, thanks for your continued support. As always, every like, share, and subscribe is always appreciated. So if you guys um, do find this content enjoyable and like to see more, go ahead and um, subscribe and uh, you can see more videos like this. <clears throat> For those of you unfamiliar with Crash of the Titans, it is a um, regular event that happens once every five days. Um, it's part of Deadpool's daily quest, and it does uh, require a particular character in your roster to take on a boss. And the boss is Squirrel Girl. And we just had Squirrel Girl, so I'm wondering... Usually they don't do the same boss back to back, but nevertheless... It requires double dino again. Um, I feel like this is total deja vu. Um, so my double dino is a four star character. Got him at a 5-5-3 five, five, build. Seven green AP for prehistoric bite. Deals almost 2,000 in damage plus a random 2x2 two two, uh, destroyed on the board. Ten red AP for prehistoric chomp. Deals 37.59 damage, and prehistoric arms purple, uh, six AP cost, deals 605, and swaps random two tiles on the board. We'll go to Squirrel Girl, check her out real quick. Um, yellow uh, ability here ends the turn when she uses it, but creates three protect tiles either strength 79 or strength 118 if uh, the enemy has 80% or more health. Purple, uh, 9 AP cost for nuts from above. Um, basically deals the base, da uh, base damage of 1178 um, plus 196 for each protect, attack, or strike tile on the board. Um, Double Dino does not generate friendly tiles, um, so that is going to be just the base damage of 1178. And furry friends cost her 11 green AP. It's three green, three turn countdown tiles that deal 491 damage. And at the uh, beginning of each turn, destroys a random basic tile for every countdown tile on the board. I'm going to do this with no booster power ups because I've done it before. I should be able to do it again. There. Okay. So, no match fives to start out with. So next best option is. Okay. And deny her those yellows as long as we can because those protectiles will slow down our damage output. Start stacking reds. her own tile which helps me out great I'll take it and I do believe 
Yep, she do has, uh, does have enough for the uh, tech ability there. So I'm going to get that purple off. Do that little bit of extra damage. And then this should be enough to finish her off. Um, I'm not at 80% or more health, so these should be strength 79. Uh, 80 times 3 is 240, um, so 1995 minus 240, uh, it's about 1700, and she only has 4 for the impact, so that should do the trick, and it does, I think that was even uh, less moves required than the last Crash of the Titans, which was the same fight. Um, because she was able to get off that protect ability uh, much faster. It took me a little bit longer to do it. I'm getting all my daily rewards. So the reward for Crash of Titans is that legendary recruit token and the um, 14 999 Deadpool daily quest points. So let's <clears throat> use that token in the shop here. Um, I also have one legendary from uh, renewing my VIP and one that I got from the anniversary pack. So we will draw all three of those today since we're sitting here. Got another four star loot cage. This is his first yellow cover that I've gotten. So that's a good one there. Very excited about that. Got Max Punisher, Merciless Charge. Needed that as well. And. Another four star, Deadpool. Um, I love Deadpool, however, <clears throat> that is an ability that I have at five already, so unable to use that. And oh, we have uh, enough to do a classic Legends as well, so I will get a chance at any one of these other five stars, not in the latest Legends, so not Black Bolt, not uh, Black Widow and not Bruce Banner Hulk, but we'll give this one a shot because I do need to level up some of my older 5 stars, which I'll take, I'll take a Spider Woman, sure. Going back to the roster briefly, and we didn't get any 5 stars this time, did get, uh, do do do. Uh, four star Black Widow. I know is back here because I don't have too many covers yet. There's Luke Cage. We'll do this one real quick while we're here. So this ability, Hero for Hire, uh, fortifies one friendly special tile and deals 644 damage for each fortified friendly special tile on the board. If Iron Fist is an active ally, creates a strength 58 protectile first. Um, now, uh, Luke Cage and Iron Fist are part of the Defenders team, if you're unfamiliar with the Marvel Universe and that part of the neighborhood um, in New York, so that makes sense. Um, I do have Iron Fist, even though he's a 3 star, he's over 200, um, so that will pair well with uh, this version of Luke Cage also. And um, fortifying special tiles, um, if you haven't seen that before, will actually um, make a countdown tile or friendly um, special tile um, harder to get rid of. So, for example, um, if you match it once, it will um, still count as AP towards the match. However, it will not make that friendly uh, special tile go away with that first match. Once the fortification is gone, then it will be able to be removed from the board. Uh, do -do. Spider Woman. So again, that black cover is the only one for hers that I've been able to get. I haven't got any of the other colors yet. but. We're going to increase to level 3 here. <clears throat> Constant black, 9 AP to use. It's a 4 turn countdown tile on the board. 
while active, Spider Woman intercepts targeted attacks, um, resisting 30% of damage. If the attack is below 972 damage, she dodges, resisting 85%. So this is similar to um, like Colossus, uh, Colossus uh, ability where he moves to the front of the line and intercepts damage. Um, as long as this countdown tile is on the board, um, the fact that she can resist 85% if it's below 972 is uh, pretty awesome because against lower level enemies and goons, uh, those attacks are not going to be very strong, which means she will absorb um, most of the damage there. Uh, who else do we get again? Punisher. Yep, so we'll take Max Punisher here. Right about there. So I do have a 1-1 one, one so far uh, build there. Just attack a couple of them. Uh, Merciless Charge will make level 2. And this is going to increase to uh, stuns allies for 2 turns and deals 741 damage to the enemy team. Plus 704 for every downed enemy. So that's not for any stunned enemies. Um, but the stun does go towards his um, black ability to change it from punish to army of one. Um, so that uh, does play in a factor there as well. We'll knock that up a couple extra notches. Take a spider woman as well. Where did she go? Just had her. She was right there. Mm, not quite enough. We'll take her to ninety. Oh, wait, forty-one. I do have enough. I don't know. It's late. Sorry, my eyes are not that great. So there we go. Um, those are our extra characters for the legendary packs. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share the link on social media. Tell your friends. Um, watch it on YouTube. And um, until next time, you can follow me on Twitter as at MrMPQ. I'll put a link in the description below. And until next time, keep on questing.